So um, I, I emphasize the fact that I was going to approach the debate from a Kimoyo perspective. Yeah, Kimoyo is um, a phrase that many of us, yeah, um, coming out of the work of Baba Kim Wandende Kiabunseki Fukiao, who is the author of many books, including um, African Cosmology of the Bantu Congo, um, Self Healing Power and Therapy, um, Mbongi, uh, Kindesi, um, uh, The African Art of Babysitting, um, uh, which is the first book that I read from him. Um, and Mbongi is an African political institution, uh, etc. Yeah. Um, and so he's done a lot of work in terms of documenting, he's an initiate into uh, Bakongo. Uh, spiritual systems, yeah, and initiative practices, um, and he is documenting the philosophical and ideological and spiritual foundations of these initiatory systems and how they feed into disciplines, yeah, that we need in our everyday life, Polit politics, economics, uh, uh, therapy, yeah, counselling, uh, child rearing, etc, 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 all right, and so he uses this term kimoyo to define uh the african spiritual systems yeah and we are one of the reasons because why we adopt this terminology is partly because we understand that, that the term african spirituality has its limitations terms like traditional african religion uh african spiritual systems african wisdom traditions and so on and so forth they have their limitations all right and so we, we, we seek words and terms within uh, african languages that have significance in many african languages in order to display and give expl explanation of what this means, yeah, what we are getting at when we say African spirituality. Yeah? It's a stage in a process. We're reconstituting and redeveloping and re-evolving uh, and restoring pride and dignity to our indigenous spiritual systems uh, in the context of the hyper denigration of them. Yeah, And so this is all a process. Um, and so Kimoyo is a phrase that is being used more and more. And just to give a brief explanation, this this slide is actually out of place, yeah? Um, I'll put it here now, just as a placeholder, so you have a bit of an understanding of what kimoyo is, all right, or means, yeah, the terminology itself, yeah? Um, because many of you might just think, because you might have watched Black Panther or you read to Black Panther comics Marvel, that the term kimoyo is Marvel, yeah? It's from Black Panther. It's not. It's a legitimate Kikonga terminology, yeah? Uh, and so brothers and sisters who are from Southern Africa or East Africa or Central Africa will know the term moyo. Yeah, and moyo, as it says here, means vital power. This vital power moyo came to exist on earth after futu, the container of something uh, secret or of great price, yeah, um, was completely tied up. The futu and its contents were there ready to secure life um, to be born on earth, yeah. Moyo in this language, Chikongo, is a universal matter. It is something both inside and outside. Moyo is what is the vitality of life. It is the key word to Kibantu, the Bantu way of life, their philosophy. Kimoyo vitalism is their religion, not animism. And so you can see that he's challenging this this uh, this this uh, characterization, yeah, um, of. Uh, African spiritual systems being animism, yeah, uh, you know, worship animals, right? It's false. What we're talking when he says vitalism, he's referring to the idea that African spiritual systems live in reverence and honor of a divine creation that is considered and conceptualized as a complete whole. And so our way of life, yeah, is centered around living in harmony. Yeah, with the, the cosmos as a whole, because the cosmos as a whole is a manifestation of the vital power, and that vital power is the creator. Yeah, that vital power is the creator, and because that vital power is the creator, the universe itself is the creator. Existence itself is the creator. All that is, is the creator. All right. And so we go into this a little bit more later on. So I won't dwell on it here, but I've in inserted this was not originally in this presentation. All right. For yesterday's debate. But I've inserted it right now. It's the only slide that I've inserted um, just so I can explain it um, here um, uh, for you at this particular moment in time. OK, but I was emphasizing the fact that I'm going to be speaking from an African spiritual perspective. So that means I'm not simply going to be dwelling on Abrahamic religions. The question is. Are Abrahamic religions African 
religions. And so it's important for me in a conversation like that to have a definition of what uh, African religions are. Yeah, because we know what Abrahamic religions are. We know that they're Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. We know that. We know that um, that these religions are called Abrahamic because the the, the patriarch of their orders uh, is considered to be a man called Abraham or Ibrahim. Yeah, uh, and so we understand that. But very few people understand what African spirituality is. Understand what. Uh, an Af what religion is from an African perspective, what kimonyo is, yeah? And, and many would even try to deny it, yes? And reject the idea that there is a concept called African spirituality or kimonyo. And so it was important for me to approach the conversation from that perspective and make it clear, because as I said already, many of us in African spiritual systems spend too much time simply debating Abrahamic religions and not teaching about African spirituality and African spiritual systems, all right? And I'm minded by the fact that it may be more, many brothers and sisters in Abrahamic religions will prefer you to debate Abrahamic religions rather than to teach and explain and expose people to African spiritual systems, their concepts, their rituals, their practices, and the meanings behind them, all right? So that's the point of this.